guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so as you see in front of you jason blum yes will be live on geek nation this upcoming saturday where apparently we'll be getting some type of new sneak peek at halloween kills but what i want to talk about first here today is this new image that just came out showcasing uh anthony michael hall returning to well not returning but playing the role of Tommy Doyle, a returning character from the original Halloween 1978 film. Uh, so as you see here in this image, we have Anthony Michael Hall toting the bat, batting bat at the ready, of course, looking probably to go take a swing at Michael Myers. It We've seen it in the teasers that have been coming out for this project from them filming it and just from other images that have leaked and other things that we've seen from how um, Tommy Doyle is seeming to be categorized. He looks like he's out for revenge or in some capacity, it looks like uh, whatever happened to Lori Strode will ignite this type of mob mentality that I expect we're going to be getting in Halloween Kill. So a nice little image there of Anthony Michael Hall as Tommy Doyle. So about this sneak peek that we're apparently getting on Friday. Jason Blum again is supposed to sit down with Geek Nation on YouTube this Saturday. Geek Nation Brazil, I believe, is the channel, and they're gonna be going over all these Blumhouse, Blumhouse projects and properties that are coming up. They've teased that we should be expecting a few surprises, uh, something regarding Halloween Kills and also Trolls World Tour, all these other things coming up. I don't know exactly what that has to do with Blumhouse. I don't think they're talking about Trolls World 2 but they did talk about trolls too in a tweet recently but they said to expect many surprises and for halloween kills i hope many though many of these surprises are in regards to halloween kills many are speculating that we'll get the, the announcement that universal blumhouse weighing the option of waiting and seeing what will happen with mulan and what will happen with tenant what will happen with these theaters reopening before they decide on whether or not they'll shift back to their original release date. I don't even know if that can actually occur. If if a movie can be delayed, but ultimately shift back to its original release date. I don't know if that's a thing. Never heard of it. Never seen it happen. But that would be very exciting for many fans. But it's highly unlikely. I did put out a video talking about the possibility of it a few days ago. Uh, one other thing that we could be getting is just a simple, yeah, a simple clip of the film because we're supposed to get in a sneak peek at halloween kills my honest opinion the, the rumors coming out is that it's a new teaser why give us a new teaser for something that's a year away if that's that's also where the speculation is building that they're going to shift us to a straight to vod maybe even a limited theatrical release maybe a couple of days in theaters and then straight to vod um because what i could see happening is with how tenant performs in theaters across the globe in these other countries that are opening and responding better to the pandemic uh than we are unfortunately it would appear that maybe many other studios would we're just at this point hoping maybe universal will say hey well let's release halloween kills across overseas and in these other countries and then in the states we know you can just drop it vod like what mulan and tenet did not tenet tenet is going straight to theaters but with mulan uh mulan's going straight to vod for us here in the states but across the nation or not the nation but across the globe i believe mulan is still going to going to theaters in some select countries so that's very exciting maybe again we're all just gonna have to wait and see what happens see what happens this saturday with jason blum what he announces and if anything like that were to occur where halloween kills managed to shift it release from 2021 back to october 2020 this year that's all going to fall heavily on a massive success from this VOD release of Mulan, the performance of Tenet, and then also the VOD release of Antebellum. So only thing I can see happening on Saturday is we get to find out some other tidbits about Halloween Kills. Maybe he'll share details about what to expect in regards to the character of Laurie Strode and what capacity she'll actually play because we know David Gordon Green has come out and said that she'll be spending most of the time in the hospital so maybe Jason Blum would elaborate on that maybe he'll elaborate on some upcoming projects that are in that he has planned and this sneak peek for Halloween Kills will just be that maybe an, an oh this just crossed my mind this just crossed my mind I hope what we get is a look at that supposed 1978 flashback we're supposed to be getting in this movie where we have a uh, little, uh, I can't remember his name, the one who bullied Tommy. I can't remember his name, Lonnie, where we have Lonnie 
in his red jacket and we see because we from the images that have come out we've seen Lonnie walking the streets of Haddonfield it looks like in a flashback of 1978 uh, and we have Michael Myers appearing behind a bush and I hope we get to see something like that for this sneak peek I hope that is what we get to see a glimpse of what this 1978 flashback look like that's just me personally maybe we'll get to see a little teaser of what this encounter Lonnie had with Michael Myers all those years ago was like because Lonnie is supposed to be in this movie as well we have a grown-up Lonnie returning and we'll get to be seeing how he how he's addressing this that that experience that probably traumatized him 40 years later uh, a lot of people aren't too happy about all the retconning going on such as that with Lonnie because this again is new information that we're finding out this is not something that has always been the thing Lonnie apparently had an encounter with Michael Myers back in 1978 and we're going to get a flashback illustrating that very encounter so hopefully we get to see something that makes sense something that adds a little bit more context and a little bit more uh makes the movie a lot more interesting and makes us understand what Lonnie's character has been going through for these past couple of years uh what I ultimately am expecting to get on Saturday is a glimpse at that 1978 flashback with Lonnie, a glimpse at whatever is coming from Blumhouse. Hopefully this juicy news for Halloween Kills is the announcement that Blumhouse and Universal are waiting and seeing what they will do with Halloween Kills. For right now, it is going to stick to its 2021 release, but what they are going to wait and see is how Tenet and Mulan and Antebellum perform in their theatrical windows and on these VOD window releases. Because if they do astronomical numbers, what the numbers really are gonna be about would be the domestic numbers for the states. How, how is Mulan gonna respond or gonna perform on Disney Plus here in the states? What is gonna be the reception? How many people, how many of these subscribers are actually going to contribute to putting down $30 to watch Mulan at home and what success would that lead to for this project? Because the amount of success that it has on a VOD release, honestly, it's it's not that far out of the realm of possibility. If Mulan somehow knocks it out of the park on VOD with little to no promotion like that, Halloween Kills easily could be reconsidered for this year. Easily, I could see it being reconsidered. Because if Mulan could do that, why can't Michael Myers do it? I feel like that's what the studios would start to think. Uh, I think that's, I'm hoping that's one of the announcements that we get regarding Halloween Kills. That from Jason Blum himself this Saturday, he'll say that they're weighing, they're at least considering that option depending on what happens with these upcoming film releases. Uh, but otherwise, it's it's just something that's sadly highly unlikely but we can always just hope and pray i that's what i'm hoping for on saturday if it doesn't happen i won't be disappointed i just want to see what the sneak peek is honestly if he has other announcements that's that's the announcement that would that would honestly blow me away that they're at least considering the option of doing a straight to vod release depending on what happens with these these upcoming movies that are going to uh test the waters so getting back to uh, I want to talk about Tommy Doyle a bit more. The character of Tommy Doyle, in my opinion, uh, he's always been one of my favorite characters from the franchise. I didn't necessarily like Paul. I liked Paul Rudd's portrayal. His performance in Halloween 6 is okay, but I feel like how they categorized Tommy Doyle in Halloween 6, I feel like that wasn't how Tommy Doyle would be. And I didn't necessarily believe Paul Rudd to be how Tommy Doyle would look. A few years later Paul Rudd himself did a great job in the role but to my Tommy Doyle uh, unfortunately the one we saw in the 1978 original movie for some reason that character just always was I always was a fan of that character just because we've all been a Tommy Doyle if you're if you're a male watching my channel you've all you've all probably been in Tommy Doyle's position where you're a little kid and you love horror movies and you have a babysitter uh, she watches horror movies with you. I didn't necessarily have a babysitter to watch horror movies with me, but for some reason growing up, and still to this day, I always, Tommy Doyle, even though he was only in the first movie and the sixth one, and apparently the fourth, but bigger involvement in the sixth and the first, he's always been one of my favorite characters, just for that sen sentimental reason. It's very nostalgic for me being a little kid and watching horror movies and loving them. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.